Okay, final talking video about yesterday's Deadpool and Wolverine marathon. Okay, yeah. I didn't stay for the end credits of my second round because I'm like, I gotta get to the next one. Okay. I went to the, you know, the ticket thing. Okay. I actually almost had to pay for my ticket because I didn't know about the 90 minute thing for un unlimited um, regal members but they let me pass they let me pass and I'm like which again that's my fault <laughs> so that's my fault not theirs <laughs> I'll play by the rules next time <laughs> so pretty much if I'm gonna do this again I need to really plan in advance <laughs> pretty much I got pre-book all this and um betting it's gonna be another Deadpool and Wolverine even though I wasn't gonna uh, do this style again but the fact that I'm still stuck on this movie I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be pre-booking this day again which if anyone's curious of how I did this outfit I'm gonna do that video too I'm gonna do a video of that too which is a good thing I got an old pair of black leggings. That way if you actually want to see the process of that of those leggings, I will do it. Anyway, yeah, it's my fault. I didn't know the ticket um process thing of 90 minutes. So yeah, my fault. I'll play by the rules next time. <laughs> So, at that moment of getting the ticket, I did not get my ticket right away, so that's how, <clears throat> how it's just a random number, and, like, I, thank goodness, I screenshotted it, so I knew where I was at, although technically, I knew my seat, K3, even though I accidentally said K9, but, you know, the front, the writing front of it on the app site they kind of look like the same numbers but I knew it was in the case in the back of the room because yeah I was having pizza even though I kind of didn't want to eat but at the second this, the second round of watching the movie my stomach was also growling to the point that I thought I was going to be nauseous so yeah it was time for me to eat and yeah, I got water, so yeah, I was pretty much empty wallet. So yeah, I pretty much wrote down the rooms and the times and the seat I was at. Oops, sorry sweetheart. Yeah, now she's sleeping. Because mostly my fault that the tickets got all screwed up. And well, yeah. And I got there just in time for the movie to start. <laughs> Yikes. Just in time, like, thank goodness. Like, I don't like being late. At least it was just in time, and the fact that I seen this movie multiple times in one day, so it's a pass of being like maybe a minute or two late. So, pass. Pass just once. Okay, um. Maybe next time I can like put a few minutes separate that way um when I buy pizza I could like maybe eat it in the lobby or something or I can be like in the in the next room that it's gonna be at and it and I can just wait for it while eating pizza. Anyway, yeah. Some other I can think of some way. Anyway, I won't try to do the one hop to another hop right away. <clears throat> anyway, um, yeah. The screenshot is definitely not how it ended up, but it was definitely by the time the movie started, like, probably like five minutes afterwards, that room was crazy. It was crazy. I guess it's a great thing that I was at K3 in the back. Even though if I didn't have pizza, 
I would definitely would be in the band. At the same time, I think mom was happy that I was in the back. So, yeah. Oh my god. That, wow. That crowd was like... The energy of that crowd was just like the opening night. Even though it was more people than the opening night. But the energy of it was like the best. It just felt the same. <laughs> Even though like the humor, I don't know, it's like an equal now. I think I still had more humor than most, some of them, but definitely those who were like close to my age definitely had the humor. <laughs> Thank God, you gotta love, you gotta love those people. You gotta love the con you gotta love the humor people, especially the nerds. <laughs> Although I'm pretty sure I was the most nerdiest one there, <laughs> who has the nerve to um pull the outfit thing off, because I was getting calm. Well, mostly from the um, regal stuff I was, but there was definitely this one person in the bathroom who loved my outfit who truly loved it who loved like the whole thing <laughs> yeah i don't know i'm not sure what i'm gonna be known for by the time i'm like 31 or 30 by the end of this year when i'm like 31 <laughs> i'm gonna be 31 in like 19 days uh, but who's counting? <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> who's counting? <laughs> okay, yeah, uh, even though I was in the back with the pizza, I still think I tortured some people because I didn't realize the AC was literally right behind me and I had the pizza right in front of it. So um, I might have tortured some people Luckily, it was some people who had popcorn. It's just crazy how some people were constantly getting popcorn throughout this entire movie. Oh my god. Especially during the best parts of this movie. I hope they saw this movie multiple times like I did. Cause, man, why did you do, why did you leave during the best parts? I'm like, oh my god, I feel so bad for those people. If this is their first time. I feel so bad. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, this is the crowd who stayed during the end credits. Oh my god. The people who add those behind the scenes during these movie credits, they are so smart. Pretty much the whole crowd stayed. <laughs> Pretty much the whole crowd. Oh my god. I took this opportunity to just take my phone out and record it. I should have done it earlier. I should have done it like earlier, like probably the second round of the movie, or probably the last time I came. I think it was my second time, or even the first time, but I didn't. I didn't want it to ruin the, um, the regal um, regulars of the opening night, and the second time I didn't think about it. And the 3D, um, I don't think that's a good idea. As for the fur fourth, um, eh, I was in a rush. And this final, this fifth time, I decided to just take it out. Because I just enjoyed these, I just enjoyed these end credits. And I have never looked at my bonus features of my D. DVDs and Blu-rays before so I'm like let me just take it out just in case if these are like rare footages or something and just for anyone else for anyone else to see it because I'm pretty sure many others who don't stay for end credits just left and aren't bothered gonna come back or there's Fans who don't have this movie in the theater or are just unable to go to the theaters want to see this stuff. Who knows? 
I just know that I definitely want it. I definitely want it because I don't know if this is all my DVDs or not. <coughs> but yeah, I definitely enjoy this crowd. It's like, it's like the, it's the best. But yeah, I managed to get my ticket in time. I wanted to make sure I get it before they close their, um, close their convention their food stand because once they do they don't serve any more popcorn or they can't open their registers or anything when I got my ticket I wanted to make sure I put some money in one of their um star hope boxes because all day yesterday I completely forgot to round up round up my um pay to charity like I always do so I decided to just put three bucks into the Star of Hope thing because I went to the movies three times yesterday so three bucks that makes sense obviously so yeah pretty much by the end of the night I kind of went broke so I wasn't expecting to go broke but I really needed water I don't think I was going to be able to handle soda for the third time in a row, even though I was hoping to bring home a whole cup of soda, but it didn't work. And I don't think they refill a half a cup of soda, so yeah. I don't know, I could ask next time. And I really wanted to eat so I don't feel like I'm being nauseous during the third round of watching this movie. But at least I was able to stay throughout this final round of the movie yesterday. I yesterday I thought it was gonna be the final time I'm gonna watch this movie, but oh man, oh my god, I just feel like watching it again. But I'm not going to at the moment. I feel so tired today. <laughs> but what can you expect? I was at the movies most of the day yesterday. First day in the morning, <laughs> and then <coughs> coming back at four, and then staying there all the way until like nine, which was pretty much around their closing time. Well, I'm not sure because at nine they closed their food, they closed their like counter stand, and supposedly sometimes they stay open longer. But it kind of depends on how active they are at night. Their movies are at night. But 9.30 to 10 is really pretty much around the time they close. So yeah. I'm pretty much tired from... And I'm also tired because the first Wolverine and Deadpool um, video reel I did from yesterday. I spent half of my night making it. So I was pretty much tired from making any further um, poses. So this is why I'm making a video one, a video one first. I don't know if it's gonna be able to make it to Instagram, but it's definitely gonna be able to make it onto YouTube. That's why I do mostly my writing ones onto Instagram, because some of my video ones become too long for Instagram and my phone is not compatible with TikTok anymore so I can't post it on TikTok right away <sighs> yeah I got a lot of posting to do <laughs> lots of posting and continuing my uh, writing vlog I got so many to write about and revealing which Deadpool and Wolverine experience I love the most. I got five. I got five to choose from <laughs> at the moment. I think the best thing about this so far is they're gonna give me permission to bring my dog in for my birthday. Only for a few minutes. For a few minutes is good enough for me. <laughs> my dog. Exactly, me and my dad's dog is so desperate to come into the 
to come into my favorite theater. He's so desperate. He wants every time I come, every time me, him and Dad drop me off, he tries to jump out of the he tries to jump out of the truck because he knows I go there and eat popcorn. Technically, like almost every time, but he knows there's popcorn there. He he just knows. He knows there's like popcorn and pizza and he's expecting me to bring it home every time. He gets so disappointed if I don't. Like, he would just walk away and avoid me if I don't. <laughs> so, yeah. He almost did when he didn't get my pizza last night. So, yeah. <laughs> I had to share some with him and Bonnie. So yeah, they're giving me permission to bring to let him come to the theater for a few minutes. So yeah, he's definitely gonna get a bath. <laughs> and I'm gonna make sure he doesn't do his favorite happy jumps. Cause he's kinda like he's like part lab and we think he's like part dane because he's got like the face features and he's definitely had the high energy for it. Like he if we let him take walks on his own, he'll pretty much do it all day. And if we let him go outside and play, I'm pretty sure he'll want to do it half the day. As long as someone's out there to play with him, he'll pretty much want to do it like half the day. He's got like that Great Dane energy, plus the lab energy, so yeah. He's pretty much full on energy. Oh, the, the chow hound of the most. <laughs> so, yeah, he's definitely going to enjoy those few minutes of being at my favorite theater. And loving the pop, loving any popcorn that he's a lot, uh, that, of course, I'm going to buy. And if that's the case, I will probably have to bring probably just along so it'll be an easy ride for dad to go home unless I go home as well so unless he comes when dad picks up that way it'll be easier who knows I'll figure it out but he's definitely going to be needing a bath <laughs> Okay, I definitely mentioned all three experiences yesterday. Now, I'm trying to do the writing one, and I would do the videos of how I did all those uh, fashions. Oh my god, this is crazy. I'm definitely going to be pretty booking all my uh, movies from now on. Uh, definitely won't be able to go to the opening of the truck now, cause... Boo! Empty wallet. Bye.